All right, now that we've found the vertex, we need to get more points, right? The vertex is just one point, so it's not going to do us a lot of good just yet. <clears throat> so we need some more information. Well, we need to know something about parabolas or quadratics. Okay? When we graph them, we get this horse, horseshoe shape. Okay? And again, we've talked about the vertex. We've got a positive parabola that's pointing up. And the vertex is the very bottom. It's the lowest that it could possibly be. All right. Smiley in there. <clears throat> so that's the lowest point that it could possibly be. Okay. <clears throat> well, here's what's cool about a parabola. A parabola. If you were to take the vertex, and from the vertex you were to draw a line straight up and down, in other words, a line that's going to be parallel to the y-axis, okay? This is parallel to the y-axis. Then you're going to have two halves of this parabola. It's going to cut it right in half. And here's the cool thing. If we were to fold right along that line, and you take those two lines, fold them together, they're going to be symmetrical. They're going to line up perfectly. It's symmetrical. Okay. So knowing that, we can use that tool to graph. So if we have our function here, okay, and we're, we're going to be graphing it, and we're given the vertex already, we've or we've determined the vertex already. Okay. All I need, really, in order to make my curves, I mean, the more points that I find, the more accurate I'm going to be, of course. But for our sake, okay, we want to find that vertex, and then we want to find two points out here that are each symmetrical, okay? Or symmetrical to each other. Well, <clears throat> it's pretty simple. What you do is you figure out where you want to go based on that vertex. So say I want to go out three units here, okay, in that direction to find this point. Well, if I go three units back that direction from the vertex, I'm going to have the symmetrical points right here. Okay, so for example, I've got the vertex of negative one and an x. Okay, so I've got negative one. So my x value here is a negative one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in that direction. Okay, three units. So I'll add three. So negative one plus three is going to give us a two. Okay, so I'm going to look at an x value of a two, along with some y. We don't know what that is yet. And then I'm going to go this direction, so negative 1 minus 3. So that's going to give us a negative 4, 1. Okay. Now I don't know what these two points are exactly, but I know that they are symmetric. So they should come up with the exact same value if we've done everything correctly. Let's see if that works. f of 2 is going to be 3. Well, that's 2 squared plus 6 times 2 plus 4. So f of 2 equals 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 plus 12 plus 4. So f of 2 is 28. Okay. f of negative 4 equals 3 negative 4 squared plus 6 negative 4 plus 4 Am I losing you? I oh, still got you there. Okay. So f of negative 4 is going to be equal to well that's a positive 16 positive 16 okay times 3 is a plus negative 24 plus 4, so f of negative 4 is equal to 28. Okay, so I've got my two symmetrical points. Okay, so the next step is to graph that negative 1 and 1, 
2 and 28, negative 4 and 28. And then I can just write in the curves. Right. We can always use our graphing calculator to check our work as well.